morning, good morning guys. It is a foggy morning out here this morning. We've already been going for about four hours. Yep, we've been going for a good while already. And the reason why we haven't videotaped anything because it wasn't daylight enough yet. So, uh, yeah. I got up very early this morning. Probably around four o'clock this morning. Got her going about, I don't know, close to five o'clock. And been going ever since. I haven't made no pit stops yet. But we will. We probably will here down the road somewhere. But yeah, it uh, started getting foggy and hasn't lit up yet. And even the wife uh, said that it is foggy at, at the house too, so... I can expect to be running in fog all day pretty much, probably. But hey, that's how it goes. I just figured I'd turn on the cameras and say hello, good morning to you guys. And It feels like I'm almost feeling a little bit better today than I did yesterday. I didn't think that was going to be the case, but I guess that is. I don't know how bad my voice is going to be affected, but so far I feel okay. I don't feel too bad. But before I lose my voice, let's get out of here and get on down the road. And we'll talk to you guys in a few. Alrighty guys, I have decided to pull into uh, Watertown, South Dakota. And I have decided since I've been eating in the truck all week long already, I'm going to go inside of here and uh, I'm going to attempt to have me a breakfast. It's been a while since I've uh, went out and had me a good breakfast. so. Let's go in here and uh, let's have some good breakfast. All right, guys, that's how I look on what we're having. Oh man, that's a nice breakfast, isn't it? Yeah, just got my peanut butter. They have redone this uh, restaurant. You guys remember me a while back ago, I talked about this restaurant was closed. <laughs> of course, somebody has to call, right? Every time I turn on the camera, somebody tries to call me. <laughs> and who is it? None other than Howard. <laughs> Anyways. Let's have breakfast. Time to get back at it again, guys. Just finished having me an awesome, awesome breakfast. And look at all them oversized units that are in here. Up there to the right, there's a few of them that have them big wings on there for the windmills. And then that looks like the tube for the actual post. Oh yeah, you'll see a couple of them more up here towards the left as I make my turn here. Look at this. Look at these big wing spans. They don't look that big when you actually see them turning, but they are huge. They look like they're like 100 and 120 feet long. That's what they look like, but they got quite a few of them in here today. I guess they're all parking because it's uh, so foggy, and I don't think they're allowed to run when it's this foggy because of the visibility. I think it's illegal for them to run. I don't know what this tractor is trying to do, <clears throat> but all right, I guess he's trying to get around or maybe get to the fuel pumps, who knows. Anyways, let's get back to the interstate and uh, hit the road again as we like to call it, right? Yeah, that's right. I still have 350 miles it looks like to go. I guess it's recalculating now, so we'll know here in a Turn minute. Right, but and then take the entrance to the ride in 400 Yeah, 360 feet. miles is what it says to get home on, so... That should be doable. I got six hours remaining, so... And once I enter Canada, I gain another two hours, so... I in should be just feet, fine. Take the entrance to the ride on I-29 North. Yeah, that's right. I-29 North. It's not going to be too much fun driving in this kind of weather, but hey, at least we're on our way home, right? Oh, look at that. I should have picked that one up. Somebody lost a uh, full bottle of uh, diesel uh, conditioner, but apparently they don't want us using it anyways, right? So somebody must have put it on their steps or something and forgot to put it in when they field probably or whatever. and. When they made the sharp turn there, it slid off the frame probably. Full, brand new. 
but it didn't even look like it had been opened so that's twenty dollars right there yep twenty one dollars in some truck stops plus tax yeah anyways I just feel much the better today well and uh, my throat also seems to be clearing up so I'm hoping that because I took pills so early that it probably uh, is uh, is probably helped me a lot I'm kind of hoping that that will actually be enough to keep me from really getting super sick right just took me another set here just before I took off again so this way uh, you know I have enough energy and everything to continue driving all day long that's what we're hoping for right so I can make it home tonight and go out again on Friday and I did leave quite early this morning because I knew it was going to be a long day a 655 mile day right so that's a long day and I figured I would want to try and get home as soon as I could because I gotta uh, render my videos yet too because I've been sick I haven't really I haven't rendered any of my videos here this week so I'm a couple of days behind so when I get home I'm gonna really have to work at it to try and get them all rendered and uh, uploaded so that way when I go out again on Friday I have them all uploaded on, on YouTube for you guys to watch right but anyways let's go ahead and continue on and uh, Enjoy the ride. Welcome, welcome to Canada, ladies and gentlemen. We have Continue just entered well. Canada. As you guys can see, very, very rough, rough road. And the lights are flashing, so that means uh, we're going to have to go in there. Go see the Mr. DOT. Yeah. Well, I think in Canada they call them MOTs. I think that's what they're referred to in Canada. So I guess we're going to have to go in there. Oh well. <coughs> it is currently quarter to four in the after afternoon already. So we've done really, really good with our time wise. We've done really, really good. I still have an hour and 12 minutes remaining in the US, but the thing hasn't switched over for Canada hours of service yet. So once it does, I gain an extra two hours. So. I should have no problem making it home. I only got 107 kilometers to make it home, so that's only about an hour and 15 minutes worth of driving. Slide so let's go see the Mr. DOT and station ahead. see if he's got anything to say, and uh, if not, we'll be free to go, hopefully, In and go home. Meters, turn right on. Yeah, Street West. it's been a short trip, but oh well, that's just how it went, right? That's how it went still fairly foggy out here not too super foggy but a little bit right but I'm gonna go ahead and turn this light off so that way DOT uh, doesn't really uh, see my light too much right so it might be a little bit darker looking at me but that's all right I want to try and uh, keep the camera on while we're uh, going over the way scale right ahead. I know RJ there is a way station I know that I can see it are you stupid or what? <laughs> ah, yeah, I gotta argue with him once in a while just to make it a little interesting, right? But let's see if they'll pick on this flatbed today. They should. It's a packy driving. Oh, did I just say that? Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not racist. I'm just making fun of it. That's all. But he was in a super hurry there at the border trying to, trying to get ahead of everybody. He was in the duty-free there and... Uh, he was just in a super rush, but this particular scale, they want you to come to a complete stop and then go, right? In 300 Let's see. meters, keep to the right on King Street. And He's then just turn looking left straight down meters. at the numbers to see if the numbers make sense. That's all he's doing. Yeah, 13 something on the drive, so that's kilograms, guys. Let's just pull this up a little bit more. All right, he says depart 12-4 on the trailer. That's kind of what I suspected. We're pretty much right on there with the weight. So anyways, let's go home. Hey, hey guys, we have made it home again. Yeah, take a look. We're getting ready to have supper again. That's right. My lady is over there. <laughs> yeah, 
Me and my big girl here, we went for a haircut. Yeah, we went for a haircut. We just came back home and we had a haircut uh, appointment right away. So, me and you, we went for a hair salon, eh? Yeah.